And joining us now is Olivia Rowe. She's a naturopathic doctor. Good morning. Good morning. So, so nice to be here. Well, it's great to have you. We're talking about the benefits of cooking with different herbs and spices and all of the health benefits that come along. So let's just start right down yeah. at the end. Yeah, so basically um, what um, cooking with herbs and spices does is that it basically gives you multivitamins and nutrients and antioxidants um, just, you know, simply by adding it to your food every day. So we have turmeric. Turmeric is basically what gives um, mustard its yellow color, as well as curry powder. Um, so it has is a mustard mild good for you? Mustard, well, if it's a good mustard that doesn't have any added sugar or chemicals, like on a hot sure, dog. yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah. at the hot dog part. Yeah. Um, but if it's a natural mustard, yeah, sure, it is great. It has great uh, health benefits there as well. Um, and turmeric has been shown in studies to um, help prevent um, cancer and Alzheimer's disease. So there's still a lot more studies that have to be done there, but um, it could be quite helpful. It, the research is promising anyway. Mm -hmm. um, garlic. And, and then we have garlic. Garlic is great mm. for heart health. Um, it helps to increase blood flow to the brain and to the heart, um, and it helps to reduce cholesterol levels, um, which is also lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and so the garlic breath is worth it in that way, because there's a lot of uh, studies right. that are showing. some parsley after, and you'll yeah, be fine, Yeah, and then you're right? good, or some fennel, which we're going to get to. Right. Um, and then we have thyme. Thyme contains thymol, mm -hmm. which is an essential oil. Um, that is its active ingredient. It contains iron, it contains fiber, um, chromium, calcium, so it's chock full of minerals. And um, it's also in some over-the-counter mouthwashes because of its antibacterial uh, effect. But you probably wouldn't use a lot in a recipe, so the small amount that you use of any of these, is that going to give you some health benefits? Yeah, definitely. And especially if you are combining different um, herbs and spices together, mm -hmm. you're going to get a bit of health benefit from each of them, which is okay. great. Is there a um, right or a wrong way to cook with it, though? Because, you know, for example, well, yesterday I had garlic, but it yeah. was some fried rice. Right. Right? <laughs> That's not going to work because, and, and sometimes when you're making curry, maybe it's a little bit too oily. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, in general, um, you want to add your um, leafy portions, so the herb portions, at the end so that you okay. maintain some of those health benefits and qualities. So you don't overcook it. Yeah, garlic, can, garlic. well, you still get some of the health benefits from garlic if you cook with it, but the allicin, one of the active components, when it's cooked, is destroyed, mm -hmm. um, but you still get the, the heart health benefits. Yeah, so if you really want to, like, fight that cold or whatever, mm -hmm. you got to yeah. go raw. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Then, and then. Smelling pretty. Right. <laughs> and prepare for the bite because if you've ever had taken a bite out of raw garlic, it's, 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 it's tough. tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so we have garlic, we have chili peppers, we have dried versus um, fresh. And one thing also to mention is that um, when the herb or spice is dried, um, it's actually more potent. So just oh. a little goes a long way mm -hmm. um, versus using it fresh. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. it, it concentrates all the ingredients. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cinnamon helps too. I've been starting to put this in my coffee. Yes. Because it really helps to level your blood sugar? It does. It does. It regulates blood sugar levels and insulin levels, um, which is great. And chili actually does, does the same. Um, chili helps to regulate blood sugar levels. It actually helps to rev up your metabolism as well for mm -hmm. several hours yeah. after you've eaten it. Um, and the other benefit of cinnamon is that it has been shown in some studies to kill a type of bacteria called H. pylori, which um, lives in the stomachs of people who are prone to stomach mm -hmm. ulcers. So there's some research supporting that. How much of it would you use if you're say, let's say you're just sprinkling it in yeah. your cereal or something like that? To just a teaspoon? A, about a teaspoon and a, and a half. One, one point one and a half teaspoons is, is good enough. Um, and even just having that throughout the day, a little bit with each meal, um, mm -hmm. could give you great health benefit. Mm -hmm. yes. Unbelievable. And all of these? And all these guys. So we have we have basil, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. There are many varieties of basil. Um, this one in particular um, is just your traditional Mediterranean version that you can easily make mm -hmm. pesto from mm -hmm. um, or add to you know your salad. So every time you mm -hmm. take a bite, you get a nice bite of, of basil flavor, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, it contains vitamin A, vitamin K, potassium, chock full of vitamins and nutrients as well. Um, and then we have sage. Um, so what I tell patients is too, when you think about sage, Sage, think about sayings like the wise sage right. or giving sage advice because that kind of alludes to how it was historically used or, or what it's historically known for and that is to enhance memory, enhance brain function. Oh, um, yeah. Right <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and so it, it has uh, antioxidants in there that helps with um, decreasing the premature aging of the brain yep. cells. So that's really I cool. I didn't know that. That's great. And, yeah. and ginger? First, ginger. 
put that in anything. In everything, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, ginger is great. It has antiviral qualities, which is good. So if you have a you know a cold, you can mm -hmm. sip some like the ginger and fennel tea that you guys have there to kind of help you get over your cold this faster. This is so lovely, it the ginger delicious. and fennel. It's so nice, do you huh? just put. Like a, I just a chunk put, of ginger. I, I about a, a one inch cube of ginger, um, about a teaspoon and a half of fennel seeds. You just boil it up on the stove for about five minutes, and then you can just sip on it throughout the day, and it just makes your home smell lovely as and well. And there's a little bit of sugar in here. There's a little bit okay. of honey. Honey. Yeah. It's so lovely. And then finally, what's this? So this is just a really easy way to combine all of these. Ah. I mean, there's there's loads of herbs and spices yeah. that you can use, but I just wanted to make a, a simple black bean spread mm -hmm. that uh, has chili. It has, um, I think the only two things it doesn't have in it is the ginger and the fennel that's in your tea. Mm -hmm. But it has all of these herbs in there. And you can easily just stir fry it up with some garlic and then have it while you're watching a game or watching TV. Oh, it's a really amazing. tasty. Uh, high protein snack. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for walking us through it. Olivia Rose, she's a naturopathic doctor. We're